In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the IMS system on the computer to find our formulas. Uh, this will be specifically for the Rio system that I have pulled up, but anything Wolflex will be under this system as well. Um, just to kind of give you uh, an idea of what that looks like. It is on our desktop and it is this yellow, green and blue icon over there. Uh, it is the IMS system. And here is where you click and pick your formula mixing system. And we already have the Rio color mixing system pulled up. Uh, standard formulas is what we have for this one. I don't have any filters on. And I'm typing in the formula I need, which is Pantone 5777C. And I punch that in, it pulls it up here, which you get a little preview. Uh, and I type my weight in grams. I want to make sure it's grams here because our scale is set to grams. And I typed in 200. We're going to be mixing up 200 grams today. Uh, and here you can see we have our mixing white. It shows you everything you need for the formula. Sunshine yellow, deep black, and forest green. And we have that all here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how we get that set up here on the scale. So I've got my container here already. I've got it labeled, and I went ahead and wrote the formula on there just for when we pull it again. Quick reference, uh, we want it to pull this up again. We'll be able to just shorthand it on here. So I want to set the container on there, and I'm going to hit this yellow button that says tear. That is to uh, pretty much zero it out. That way we have an accurate reading for what we're putting in. Uh, we want to start off with our... 157.6 grams of white. So we get into our Rio white bucket and I'm going to be adding that here. So as I add, it will tell me how much I have there on the lit up screen. We got a 99.2. Let's keep adding. We need our 157. So I will get that to where we need it. And then once we get that, we will hit this yellow, there we go. We will hit this yellow button again, the tear button to zero it out. So it'll bring us back to zero. And now we need our 33.5 of sunshine yellow. So we'll go ahead and Get that in there. All right. So as you're adding, uh, you can always keep adding. Little by little, you'll get a good idea of how much you need, but you can always take some out as long as you're not taking out other colors as well. So I always try and uh, put them in the bucket in different sections, just so if I do overdo it, I can always pull some out but generally once you get a feel for it you're good to go so that's our 133 so then we'll hit that tear button again and we need our deep black we need 7.8 so we'll go ahead and get that in there so we'll bring that over So we got our 7.8. Again, we'll hit that button again. And we'll get our forest green. We only need a gram of that. So go ahead and get that. And I have cards available here. I usually just use little bits of card or uh, our knives that we use, which I'll show you here in a second to mix up. As long as you wipe them off in between each one. And use those as well whatever gets you a more accurate read on things there we go that's our gram of force green and as i'm working you can kind of see i'm putting these away as i go just so they're not in the way um now we just kind of keep the area clean as we can once that's all in there uh, you can kind of see i got it all in there we're going to mix it up with the knife here 
And I always start with uh, just kind of some small strokes in there, just kind of get everything mixed up, and then you can get it going. And as you're going, I always try and, uh, there's a little flex to these, so I always use it against the sides to scrape in all the extra colors in there. I want to make sure all the pigments are mixed well. You don't want to see, like, this has streaks in it. We want to get it to the point where it's one smooth color. Because once you pull that through the squeegee, that will show up on your print. So yeah, once you get that mixed up, uh, we've got it labeled and tape over it so it can't get smudged up. And you're good to go. That's how you mix a Pantone with the IMS system for Rio.